Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're back with another hardcore series, but this time I'm gonna try and be a lot safer because I want this one to go on for a lot longer. First thing I see when I spawn into the world is absolutely nothing. So I grab some copper, make some tools, grab some coal, kill some cows, grab some iron, and I leave. Along the way, let's just say I made a lot of orphans, and I grab some more iron and find a diamond in a minecart, as well as loot a uh, sunken ship and a snow village. I then struggle to find the chest because I forgot how to do it, and along the way I find some lapis, and when I do find the chest, I get some pretty decent loot. When I'm looking for a village, I find some pumpkins and take those because I remember wanting them. And at the village, I find and loot a blacksmith and a rune portal. I then set up my base and then start working on a place for the villagers to go. Once this is done, I spend an absurdly large amount of time trying to get the stupid villagers in, and then I loot a couple more things from the village and put them in my base. After this, I start working on a farm, and I do my first trade with the villagers, and I start a sugarcane farm and can finish the farm. I then try and survive my first night out, and after coming fairly close to dying, I spend not as long as I thought on finding a mending book, and I was pretty happy because 22 isn't terrible, but I didn't quite have enough, so instead I just bought a couple of bookshelves. After that, I went mining, and I found some coal, some iron, some copper, and some lapis. After putting my stuff back, I go back into the cave, into the mine, and find a huge cave, of which I'm terrified of. Because while there are a lot of good resources, I uh, am not the best at PvE, meaning I'm probably going to die if I do too much. After clearing out most of it, I continue digging, and after a quick Google search, I found out that the, apparently the best level for diamonds is Y-59. But I'm not sure if I believe that, so if anyone has a, any other places, let me know in the comments. Along the way, I do manage to find some diamonds, and I also struggle trying to get past this stupid lava pool. But after like five minutes of trying to mine through it, I just decide to go up and over it. After finding pretty much nothing else, I head back, and I start mining some wood. I, I need a lot of wood because I'm trying to get a lot of uh, trapdoors for my uh, mob farm that I'm going to make. After making as many trapdoors as I could, I then try and survive my second night out without sleeping. I'm doing pretty well until this stupid spider jockey, and for some reason I cannot hit him, so I just leave. I also managed to get a music disc on the way, which is pretty cool. However, uh, there are way too many mobs and my inventory is full, so I have to leave to empty out my inventory and come back. The next day, after my axe broke, there was a creeper waiting outside my house, which means I had to use my hand and a stupid pickaxe to kill it.
After that, I start mining out a bunch of dirt and along the way doing a little bit of terraforming so I can start working on the mob farm. After getting about a quarter of the way as high as I wanted to, I run out of uh, dirt and have to go back down. After that, I collect up a bunch of sugarcane, work on the farm a little bit, and then make two more uh, lecterns and start doing some trading. The first trade I found pretty quickly was some paper, but the next trade for Prop 4 I wasn't able to, so I gave up. I then work on the farm a bit more and try to survive my next night out in the open, but I run into a witch, and I hate witch's poison. It is probably, in my mind, the scariest thing in a hardcore series. Luckily, when I'm running back to hide, it goes away, so I go back out to fight more. I think I'm doing pretty well, and I'm not taking too much damage until this stupid zombie with an iron sword comes by and does four hearts. Why is that allowed? But after that, I try and fight an enderman in the day this time, and uh, I come close to dying again. However, I live and I'm fine, thanks to the water. And I got an enderpro, which is pretty nice. After that, I do a bit more work on the farm, and I start an enchanting room. I then make a cleric and do a, a trade with him to lock it in, and do a bit more work on uh, the mob farm. Next, I take my first nap in a while, and I collect more sugar cane and do a bit more with the enchantment room as well as finishing off the walls and ceiling. After that, I do a bit more adventuring, find another village, take the wheat, take, kill the golem, take the sugar cane, sleep in the bed, and leave. On the way back, I get a bit lost looking for sugar cane, and then I, it takes a while, but I finally see the mountain that I recognize, as well as the tower. I then finish off the enchantment table, put the books back down, and do some trading with the villager. But it was a bit too much for him, so I made another uh, composter and put it down again to do the rest of the trading. The next thing I did was I put down uh, a chest for storage for materials that I'm going to use and put in cobblestone, the trapdoors, and some deep slate. And finally, I went on top of the mountain to kill a bunch of the iron golems that were stuck up there. And after almost dying to one of them, I kill him and immediately log off for the day. The next time I log on, uh, I did a couple things, however the recording got kind of messed up, so what I'm saying is I got some mending books, I built another portal, I got some dogs, and I explored the nether a little bit, not not like far at all, I pretty much just went to the nearest uh, soul sand biome to grab a couple pieces of soul sand, but I did along the way notice that I got really lucky with the uh, fortress spawn, it was like maybe a hundred blocks away. However, on the way back, after killing the piglins, I decided it was a good idea to attempt to kill the hoglin. It was not. Uh, I almost die here, and I was terrified for my life after getting to, I think it's one and a half hearts? Yeah. And so, uh, I cower away in fear, and I'm terrified that it was going to follow me out, so I immediately jump back and shield. The next thing I show is the finished uh, water elevator, which has the soul sand. I filled it with signs, I filled it with the kelp, and it's working. However, 
Um, I was scared that it doesn't work because, uh, hardcore, you know. So I made sure to have a little bit extra water space in front. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you would, please hit the like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And see you next time.